Hello everybody, a huge milestone for nuclear and a huge milestone for Great Britain today. What do we have here? Um, this is a video where you can see the installation of the reactor pressure vessel in the Hinkley Point C1 unit. Now, I've made sure that this is not going too fast because otherwise, uh, th because this is a, uh, uh, it's basically, it looks like a time-lapse video. So everything is sped up and everything is going very fast and I'm going to uh, take it a little bit slower because I want to give commentary. I want to tell you what is happening and I want to celebrate this joyous occasion because I think that this is really a great moment for nuclear energy in Europe. So what you can see over here, the, the orange lid, that's basically a, a temporary lid that's put on top of the reactor pressure vessel. The reactor pressure vessel has been you know, covered with plastic in order to make sure that it is protected from the elements. And right now it is housed in a shack. And this is basically a shack where it has been housed for a little while now uh, in order to make sure that it can be uh, prepared, that, you know, all the preparations can be made to, to make sure that it can be moved towards the nuclear power station safely and so that it can be hoisted into place and uh, brought into uh, the building. So let's see the birth of the reactor pressure vessel in the UK. Note the 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 machine that it that they use to move this um, reactor pressure vessel. It's it's really cool. It's 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 electrical power. I believe that the battery is down here. And you have all these sets of wheels that are on on individual. I believe it's 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 called a pinion. Uh, it, so all of them they can turn independently, and this gives this uh, this this entire con contraption uh, both e enormous carrying load because of you know all the wheels that are in there, but also quite some some maneuverability. Also note the huge blue blocks on which the reactor pressure vessel rests at this moment. Also particularly interesting, just note how small this guy over here is. Well, actually not that small because when you compare the size of the reactor pressure vessel to the people that are uh, right next to it, it doesn't really look that, that big actually. So let's, let's continue. Uh, we see the reactor pressure vessel go, go on its voyage. One thing that I noted when I was at Hinkley Point C, I've been at Hinkley Point C a couple of years ago. I didn't get onto the site, but I, I, I've basically toured the area around it, is that it looked like they had all the cranes in the United Kingdom uh, at their disposal, that they basically bought up all the cranes and uh, installed them there. And and the reason is, is quite obvious, I hope. Uh, what you want is you want to... Uh, be able to move stuff around as as quickly and as efficiently as possible and having one crane is great but having 20 cranes is even better especially if, if you have a large area where you have to move a lot of very heavy equipment around then you know all these cranes that offer flexibility but they offer also offer speed so that's that's pretty important also note that what you see over here is the containment building of probably Hinkley Point C1. So let's continue. Britain's first nuclear reactor in 30 years is installed. So there it goes along its voyage, right? Then we get a, a, a top-down view over here is the reactor. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's basically um, right above my face right now, or or slightly slightly to the to the right. Um, and this is the path that it's taking, as you can see over here, they are finishing the reactor containment building, um, you know, af behind this, this reactor building is the generator building. Now, I hope that they're going to give it uh, a nice paint scheme like they did in Okluwoto, for instance, because if you, if you look at nuclear power stations, generally they are pretty boring. Uh, I, I get that, you know, it's not necessary to paint them. It, it's about the utility of these, these nuclear power plants, obviously, but personally, I do like it when a nuclear power plant has been given a nice livery. Again, you can see also a lot of lights, you know, there's, there's a lot of bright light at this site. And uh, again, all the cranes to move all the stuff around. So uh, at this moment, the uh, reactor pressure vessel isn't moving and now it is moving. So the, 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 the reactor pressure vessel is 13 meters long and it weighs 500 tons. It's quite a chunky, chunky, chunky thing, but 13 meters, it's not that tall. I mean, that's only six and a half people standing, standing on top of each other. So it keeps moving, it keeps moving. 
and then it sits and then the preparation begins because this is an interesting shot let's see let's continue oh wait a second let's let's get back a couple of frames because they, 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 they almost aligned it perfectly. So what you can see happening here is over here, you have this gantry, gantry crane, right? These these red uh, pylons or, or, or truss uh, elements. That's basically uh, the first leg for this reactor pressure vessel on its, on its track into the reactor containment building. Now the reactor containment building is over here. And over here, you see this nice circular uh, opening. That's going to be... Um, geez, what do you call it in English? That's going to be a, 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 a pressure lock, right? Uh, so right now it's just open. The doors have not been installed yet, but once the, the reactor is in there and all the heavy equipment has been moved in there, uh, they basically close it up and you get two or three pressure, pre you get two or three pressure doors uh, that basically are meant to both keep stuff out and keep uh, stuff in. So the reactor containment building itself uh, it, 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 it operates at a slight under pressure which means that if there would be any leak somewhere what, what would happen is air from the outside would be sucked in instead of uh, air from the ins inside being pushed out I've witnessed this once because I, I, I've toured the Borsela nuclear power plant and it's it, it, it's it's quite an uh, I mean some people don't experience this but i do because i have a a, a a a a a problem with my ears and i'm very sensitive to differences in pressure and and when when once you get into this pressure lock and and the pressure decreases my ears started popping like crazy and and, and that's one of the things that that is pretty notable about these uh, these these um and containment buildings also look at the scale i mean the, the 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 thing is massive it's absolutely a massive containment building and that's also also one of the things that i find very interesting about a nuclear reactor so in essence if you look at a nuclear reactor right this 13 meter tall bean that sits inside a building that's i don't know 60 70 maybe even 80 meters tall uh, and it is a, a, a diameter of, I don't know, 50 meters or something like that, maybe even 60 meters. Th this nuclear reactor that's sitting, you know, s somewhere in the middle of this, this of this reactor containment building, it's just a magic bean, a little bean that is producing loads and loads of power, 1650 megawatts in this case. So let's continue. Here they are preparing uh, the cables that they're going to use to hoist the reactor out of uh, you know from the platform now it's it's daytime as you can see it takes a lot of time to prepare for all this note also that th there is an additional crane over here that is there to pull you know heavy stuff up you know, people are working on this uh, this elevated platform over here uh, loads of people standing around i mean this is a joyous occasion a truly joyous occasion for these people i hope now they are hoisting it off the platform and they're moving it on top. So what you can see there is the the rails. You know that that the, the the track. This is also interesting. They 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 move the reactor pressure vessel and the blue blocks on which it was installed or or, or on which it was sitting, and now they place it on a on, on a kind of a rail track, uh, and, and and a cart that's sitting on so on top of the rail track because you need to now slide it into. Uh, the reactor containment building. Here you can see clearly, you know, it's 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 a time lapse, or or not really. Yeah, it is a time lapse. So here you can see it's sliding into the reactor reactor containment building. This is interesting. It says one hundred and eighty degrees over here, so that 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 supposes that on the other side it's zero degrees. Sliding, 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 sliding. Oh, look at this. This is such a nice shot. All these people taking a look at what is going on. Um, there's also people with harnesses in here and stuff. So this over here is going to be that pressure lock in the future. That's going to be the place where they, uh, if they need to do refueling, for instance, you know, they have to bring in fuel. 
the, the fuel obviously sits inside of a, a specialized container uh, and that container has to be moved through that lock in the future uh, and also uh, if they need to replace heavy equipment or other stuff uh, that comes through this lock so there will be two locks i believe at least uh, in this reactor uh, containment building you need one for people to get in and out and you need one for heavy equipment to get in and out So the hatch is 19 and a half meters above ground. That's interesting. So this is cool, right? This looks, uh, where I've been in the Borsalin nuclear power plant, that looks pretty, that, that looks similar to what you see over here. So in this block over here, there's probably one or two uh, steam generators. There's a similar block on the other side where there's also two steam generators. This is also interesting. It looks like one of the pressure uh, the pressure doors is already in the building. And it stands to reason because obviously it needs to be bigger than the hole that is going that it is going to shut down. So it's already over here. Uh, also interesting is uh, I believe that the reactor, uh, the place where the reactor is lowered is, is, is over here on the left-hand side. And, and, I don't know if we get to see it, but there's a huge crane. There's a huge gantry, gantry crane uh, in the top of the reactor uh, containment building. It's also it's practically there in every reactor containment building because you need to have you know you need you need to have the capacity to lift all this heavy stuff up, and in this case, it needs to be strong enough to hoist 500 tons worth of reactor pressure vessel. So it gets moved in. It's also interesting. We see here the hot, the hot and the cold lags. I can't I can't identify exactly which ones are the hot lags and which ones are the cold lags. But what you can see over here, there's like four of these uh, th these outlets and inlets at each uh, side of the nuclear reactor, and, and, and that's logical because there's also there's also four. Uh, steam generators in an EPR system, which means that you have uh, hot water coming out. Uh, one of which means that you have hot water coming out of the uh, outlet over here, and then cool water coming back to the inlet over here. Now I don't know exactly uh, the arrangement, uh, which ones are hot and cold lags, but hey, listen, we're we're just enjoying the the, the video that is made by EDF. Also interesting, you can see over here those um, those those steel beams. I don't know how to call, what to what what to name them, but this is basically part of the hoisting mechanism, and they lock into these uh, knobs over here. So now they start hooking up the reactor pressure vessel to the to the crane. As you can see, there's quite some some beefy bolts that are used in order to to fasten it. That's an axle or something, I don't know. And then there's the crane operator. This guy has the coolest job and all the in, in, in all the you know of all the construction workers at Hinkley Point C, he is going to hoist the reactor pressure vessel off uh, its it supports. And there it goes very, very slowly. A lot of people, I mean, you should be in awe when you're in this in this building, in this situation. I mean, it's just incredible, isn't it? There it goes. It moves. So Mammoth, by the way, it says Mammoth. This is Dutch, a Dutch, a Dutch company, um, the best hoisting company in on the planet. Uh, and they build all this stuff that you can hoist reactor pressure vessels of 500 tons with. Amazing, amazing. So right now, they're, they're going basically going to uh, turn the reactor vessel uh, up in an upright position because it needs to be lowered into its uh, its space where it, where it's going to live uh, for the next 100 years. Who knows? Oh, this is interesting. So first, first they move it. First they move it, move it out of the way. They're not going to move it towards, you know, the the the, the reactor. What should I call it? The, the the place where the reactor will live. First they're going to move it somewhere else. I would be so anxious to be there. By the way, let's get back over here. Here you can see the the crane. It's a massive crane. It's one of the biggest in indoor cranes you can have. I would be so nervous 
standing around down here with this reactor <laughs> reactor pressure vessel hanging up there in the air but that's just me I'm, I'm 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 a nervous kind of guy this is amazing look moving all this heavy equipment around and then you see the, 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 again the crane from the top now they've they, they they've turned it and over here you can see this is the uh, the aperture or, or, or the space uh, where the reactor pressure vessel is going to live. And now it's slowly being lowered into place. This is so amazing. Again, you saw the zero, the zero mark and the 180 mark. This is just amazing, isn't it? Now over here you can see there's these I don't know are those bolts that are keeping this lid on the the one of the inlets or the outlets I don't know which one which one they they are they're lowering it bit by bit by bit and then in the end it it gets lowered into place where it where where it is going to live for the next eighty to one hundred or maybe even even longer. Uh, years this is this is the coolest job in all of nuclear i believe you know making sure that it actually gets installed and there it is hey, hey awesome now all you need to do is hook it up fuel it and start making electricity now, obviously it's not that simple but i re I, this is I mean, with two reactor units, the power station will provide 7% of uh, Britain's electricity, in which case I would say, you know, build 14 of them. Then you have 100% of Britain's electricity. I mean, building 14 of these is, uh, obviously, this was, a, this was an epic undertaking. Um, building Hinkley Point C1 and 2, which, you know, both are still not completed. By the way, th this happened earlier this year it's 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 not that this happened today today uh but but i just wanted to to celebrate the fact also interesting this is this is something that most people never get to see so over here this this space above the reactor when it's uh i believe that when it's operational it's not filled with water uh, and the reason for that is because there's all all sorts of equipment in the lid you know you have the reactor reactor pressure vessel and then you have the lid and there's 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 also there's there's uh, shutdown rods in there and there's sensors in there and all that stuff uh, r really doesn't like to become submerged so at least that's what happens in in Borsala at the pressurized water reactor i can imagine that the Hinkley point c will be different but in Borsala, this uh, space over here is not filled with water while the reactor is in operation now, what they do is once they need to take the lid off in order to do uh, refueling or do any other work to the reactor, then they fill the entire basin up with water. Now, there will also be a spent fuel pool somewhere around here. So what you what you will get is there's there's going to be like a, a, a little lock somewhere so once you have filled this up you can open up the lock and then you can keep the, the 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 fuel that you're moving out of the reactor or into the reactor you can keep that submerged and you can move it to the other pool so this is really a a, a momentous occasion for for great britain for hinkley point c for edf and i am absolutely absolutely stoked um, that they actually uh, shared this with us so this video was shared with us on december 4th right so that's amazing so let's go to google earth because i again i prepared a little bit for for for, for you so uh this is still france the same uh france uh map that i used yesterday first we're going to zoom into hinkley point c now it's not that hard to find i mean i i i can i i can, I, I can see it from here already right it's the largest construction uh, area in uh, the UK. So I've made, I've seen Hinkley Point C from Wick, from Sherton, from Stolford, right? So what you have over here, I believe that this is Hinkley Point A, and they're decommissioning it as we speak. Over here, we have Hinkley Point B, which is also, uh, I believe, being decommissioned. Then over here, you have the switchyard. So 
quite a beefy switchyard. The cars are being parked between the switchyards and the nuclear reactors over here. And then you get the construction project, right? So this is probably going to be Hinkley Point C1, and this is going to be Hinkley Point C2. Two, as you can see, currently you can you, the, the 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 state of uh, Google Earth is that you can look into the containment. Uh, over here, you can see this is the pressure lock that we were talking about. That's a pressure lock uh, through which they have installed the reactor. Oh, it's interesting, by the way, that they are mirrored from each other. As you can see, the pressure lock over here is pointing to the middle, and the pressure lock over here is pointing to the middle. Now, there's probably going to be uh, some, some sort of a crane uh, mechanism that is going to be built on the outside of the containment building. Uh, we have the same thing with our little pressurized water reactor in the Netherlands. Now, I believe that the number of cranes has decreased. Um, so this over here is where they make the concrete. Um, and, and you can see that it is such a busy construction place. Over here, the tops of the containment structures are being made. They're literally built on site because they are so heavy. You can't just make them elsewhere and then transport them. There's no road wide enough for, for these things to be transported on. And I mean, hoisting them from the sea, uh, you know, onto the construction yard. That's also, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's virtually impossible. So this is one of the things about these heavy, large construction projects that will always stay on the site of these of these construction projects. You know, building the containment, all those rings, all those, yeah, basically uh, this half dome, um, th that's just going to stay at the site. So this is the reactor containment building. And then over here you have the uh, generator building and, and this is very interesting i believe that this is uh the, 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 because usually when you have a turbine you have the condenser which is at the bottom of the last turbine right that's where the that, that's where the seawater actually cools the, the 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 steam that needs to be turned back into water again in order to uh keep the steam cycle running so I wonder what this is, whether this is where the condenser will be or um, whether it is something else, maybe a filtration place or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's pretty interesting. I mean, it's a huge, huge construction site, as you can see. And I hope that in Europe, we get to build at least 50 more. Now, the interesting thing that I wanted to show you is that the, the reactor pressure vessel that was made over here somewhere. I don't know whether that was made here uh, or, or made it this f facility over here. But since it's only 12 meters, you know, it, it stands to reason both both sides are connected via a rail line, right? So it stands to reason that they are, uh, that this is a shared operation. It's just uh, phys physically, uh, physically apart from each other. So somewhere over here, the French uh, made the reactor pressure vessel for Hinkley point c and that's really it for this video i really hope that you like this kind of content uh, personally i am really fascinated with this technical stuff uh, i i have an, a background in it just just to dispel some of the mystery here but i have become uh, unemployed since uh, 2015 and, and 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 i can't work because i have a recurring depressive disorder but this kind of stuff brings me joy and i really hope that it brings joy to you as well so if you find these videos informative if you enjoy them please make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification button also leave a like if you like this type of content and please make sure that you share this video with other people and leave a comment down below if you think that it is worth the while now thank you all for watching and may the strong force be with you bye bye wow.